Hello and welcome to another video and today doing F1 1997 mod so as you can see going through all the drivers so Jacques Villeneuve, Heinz Held Fretzen and then the, in Friday Schumacher and Irvine and in Benetton Jean Alesi and Jao Berger sorry I can't read through my preview window and there's Hakkinen and Coulthard in the, the McLaren and then in the Jordan there's Ralph Schumacher and Fisichella and the Prost car there's Olivier Panis and Nakano and then in the Saab there's Johnny Herbert and sorry I can't read in the preview window but you, you get the idea just going through all the drivers Damon Hill you know there and I probably won't know some of these drivers because this is before I was born, so, yeah. So, a link will be in the description of this mod. Uh, it's just quite an old mod. It's been out for, like, it'll be nearly two years soon. And I've played it before. And it's, I think it's a good mod, so I just thought to do this video. And as you can see, I'm going through the calendar now. A bit of a different calendar. And some of these aren't the actual tracks, like, uh, for example, the French Grand Prix. I think that's just... That's India, I think. But, uh, yeah, the, this uh, mod doesn't come with the classic tracks uh, from 2013. You have to download those from, like, from, like, all the places on Race Department. You can just download those. It has the database to, compa to be compatible, but... Anyway, we're into a race now. Sean Lacey on pole. Michael Schumacher in sixth. Eddie Irvine. Actually, it said fifth. Sorry about that. Sorry about this being quite loud. Uh, the very old cars. Uh, I mean, it's probably outdriving me a little bit now. But uh, away we go. Down towards turn one. Breaking nice and late going on the inside of quite a few cars. There's a Lacey on the left hand side. Coulthard leads. I'm in second. In uh, my Malibu Ferrari. If you wonder why uh, Schumacher's helmet models like that, it's because he replaces Alonso, and that's Alonso's helmet model. They're running wide, nearly getting overtaken again by uh, the car behind. Sorry, I can't, can't read the names of the preview window. Vincent Strip, David Coulthard, up the inside, into the chicane. But no, when the corner name's cutting him off a bit. Right, so let's try and stay here, says the engineer. Should be alright, started 5th to 1st by the end of the first sector pretty much, so quite a commanding start. I do believe that uh, Michael Schumacher did lose his World Championship, so maybe the Ferrari isn't the best car. But, uh, yeah, you know, oh, up the inside comes Coulthard, running wide through Pohan. Coulthard takes the, op the opportunity to get through right around the outside though to keep second position. Just hanging on to it there. Cut in again there. And he's trying to get back up the inside. Cutting him right off. Really trying to keep the position here. So still in second position. It's been a while going off the track and everything. I was still getting used to the handling and hadn't put the pad handling file in, so I was I was obviously on the pad as per usual. So I think that might have had something to do with the not handling very well on the pad. Uh, going into the chicane. You can see I'm revving out most of the gears. And, and yeah, it's just basic because I'm not used to the audio of when to shift for these cars and how to accelerate for them. And, that. and yeah, manual is suggested is on. That's an accident. I don't, I don't use suggested. I, just, I had to set up a new profile for this mod and I forgot to put it on manual. I accidentally put it on suggested but doesn't matter throw rouge nice line throw of rouge there catching up to the back of Coulthard obviously as we saw on lap one this Ferrari has really good straight line speed but I think just a little bit too far away to capitalize at this point closing wild to him corner cut a little bit right behind him now the uh, the other cars have just been absolutely left for dust and as I noticed in this uh, this mod, Coulthard is 
extremely overpowered. Like, extremely overpowered. Uh, he's uh, very fast. <laughs> but I'm guessing the McLaren was the best car. Although I'm pretty sure Hakkinen won this championship. But oh well. Just the one Pirelli sign there. You see getting, getting a bit flustered in the middle sector. Andy telling me to put it into mix two. I believe that's the name of the engineer up until 2015. I think he's called Andy Knight, but I don't know. I know the new one's called Jeff. <laughs> so, all that time I gained on Coulthard, I lost through the middle sector by uh, not being very good at driving, understaying a bit through Blanchemont, but now down towards the bus stop once again. Breaking at the 100 metre board. Chucking it and beating the launch up a little bit there. Trying to catch right up. And if you haven't noticed already, it's got a good year's tyre mod, so, you know, that, you know, that's quite nice. So on to the final lap of the Grand Prix, obviously there's no DRS in these cars, because back in the 90s, DRS was introduced in 2011. And I think that, yeah, just set the first lap of the Grand Prix, so we did catch up to, uh, I have nearly called him Hulkenberg, but I'm not sure why. We did catch up to DC. As you can see, tyres are cold and I think that's a bit of a glitch with the uh, mod because I did another race, 25% race and the tyres were cold the entire time and I had no pace but closing up once again getting a warning for corner cut that's the only warning of the entire race so I was quite pleased with that really um, closing up to the back of oh lucky not the front right though hardly see how he's holding us up at uh, Engineer but closing right through to the no name corner in the slipstream, down towards Puan now, he's using ERS for some reason. Having to let off a bit, running wide though, through Puan. But reaching on the track quite quickly. I don't really like Puan, nasty little corner in there. Breaking for the middle sector now. Through the, le uh, the right, now through the left. Running out a bit wide. It looks like Coulthard might have this one. We uh, get get closer to the last corner. Going purple once again though. Down the long straight now, heading towards Blanchemont and then it's the bus stop which is going to be the last opportunity to do anything but he's way too far out in front. He's over a second in front. Through Blanchemont, hitting the rev limiter in the middle of Blanchemont. Putting up into mixed three, breaking nice and late for the bus stop. Take this much curve, flying onto the air, getting the corner and cutting warning. Does it right to the back of Coulthard but it's not quite enough. DC has won this one, but from 5th to 2nd, wouldn't say that's a bad drive. But anyway guys, thanks for watching, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.